Today, I'm reflecting on it all. I'm reflecting on yesterday. I'm reflecting on last year. My whole life, really. Now, today's a day that I've decided to endure it and take it all in. Now, doing this hurts. This hurts so bad for me. But in order to have peace and for me to move on, reflection is an obligation. We must reflect on our past so we can see what we can do differently about our future to better our lives. As most of us know yet seem to forget, life is way too short to hold on to meaningless regrets. Life is too short to go to bed angry. As humans, we deserve to make ourselves a priority. Give yourself permission to say how you feel, then just try to let it go. Sometimes you have to learn the hard way. And you say exactly how you feel and you fuck it up. Or you say nothing and you let it fuck you up instead. So sometimes everything that we do, no matter how hard that we try, can never be good enough for others. But that doesn't mean hold on to the anger. Everything can change in just one moment. Forgive often. Love with all of your heart. You never know when you may not have a chance to see another sunrise again. Once, someone told me the bad news about this life is that time flies. The good news? Well, the good news is that you're the pilot. So, next time you feel like you have nothing left to give back to the world, take a step back. Inhale and just laugh. Try to remember who you are and why you're here. You are never given anything in this world that you can't handle. Sometimes, no matter how hard you try, you come to a point where you realize you'll never be good enough for some people. People will push your limits, but when you finally explode right back, you're the mean one. Just don't lose your dignity and your respect trying to make people accept, love, and appreciate you when they just clearly aren't capable. Personally, I am learning every single day to allow my life to inspire me in ways to make it better for me and for everyone around me. Especially when life is as scary and raw as it has been lately. Unfortunately, we do not get to pick the very things that break us. We can't even predict what's going to save us. But what has helped me is understanding something. And that's understanding the process of forgiveness. In my eyes, that's something that's crucial if you want to live a happy life. I am the type who has fed the mouths that have talked horrid on my behalf when all I've ever wanted was love for them. I've wiped the tears off of the faces of people who have caused mine. I have even picked up people who have knocked me down. I have done favors for others who have done absolutely nothing for me. And does that make me crazy? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. But I will not lose myself in the hatred of others. And neither should you. I will continue to be who I am because it's my nature. Life isn't easy, especially through all the bullshit. Just don't let other people's hatred, words, or actions tear you apart. If these people don't value you, why value their words? So what if someone else thinks a certain way about you, or if they forget to appreciate you? What matters, and what truly, truly matters, is how you feel about you and how you treat you. No one can take that away 
unless you're the one who allows them. Peace is yours the minute you claim it. Peace is not some place where there's no noise, no crazy situations, or hard work. Peace is the calming inside of your heart in the midst of all of those things. You can't control other people's actions or how they choose to perceive you. Anything that you do or say will get filtered through the mind of whatever personal stuff that they are actually going through in that moment, which is not even about you. It can be frustrating, but understanding all of this for your own peace is what's so important. Life isn't about trying to please other people. It's about making your life happy and easy. Looking for the good in others is so pivotal. Most importantly, when someone's done you very wrong. Don't focus on the problem, but whatever good you can find out of it. Finding the good in others takes belief. It takes belief in yourself. When you look for the good in others, you often bring to light your own best. After all, none of us are perfect, and we all make mistakes. It's how we come back from those very mistakes that truly matters. Yeah.